Last week we visited with you on the cow-calf corner about some of the preparations for the upcoming spring calving season. One more preparation I think that we should make is to have on hand some colostrum or colostrum replacer to give that baby calf that we had to assist during the calving process one of those that perhaps it was a difficult pull and now that calf is sluggish. She's going to be slow to get up, slow to find the teat of a, a two-year-old heifer and perhaps won't get enough colostrum in him in time in order to get the passive immunity that he needs to have some disease protection as he perhaps is exposed to scours or even respiratory diseases later in life. To prepare for that situation, I would suggest that we find some actual colostrum. Perhaps we have a dairy in the area that we could go and visit and purchase from them some colostrum from freshened dairy cows that they can't put in the milk line anyway. And we could bring that home and freeze it, have it ready to go for that situation there in, in the middle of the night, in the middle of the winter, when we really want it to be available to us quickly. If we can get some of that fresh colostrum from either dairy or from a, a beef cow that we milk at home, I would suggest that we put it in one of these big resealable plastic bags, uh, one of the big ones that came, contains more than a gallon, but only put about a quart of the colostrum in it. And then let's lay it flat when we put it in the freezer so that we have lots of surface area available to uh, thaw out that colostrum when we're needing it so quickly. If we'll do that to where it's laying flat, rather than having a big two quart or larger glob of colostrum that's frozen solid, we can get this thawed out much more quickly. How much do we need to give that baby calf that needs some help? Well, uh, the rule of thumb is five to six percent of his body weight in each feeding. That equates to about two quarts for an 80 pound uh, baby calf. And we need to get that two quarts in him within the first six hours of life and then repeat that feeding about 12 hours later. So we're going to need roughly a gallon of colostrum being available for a, any newborn that we think uh, actually is going to need some help. The alternative is to go to your local veterinary supply store and purchase what's called a colostrum replacer. Look on the label to make sure that it has 100 grams of immunoglobulin per dose. And that way you've got the replacer. I'd say have a couple of these packages of replacer ready to go before the start of the calving season so that you can prepare them quickly and have them ready to feed that baby calf that needs some help. This is just one more part of getting prepared for that spring calving season, but it'll certainly help us to go ahead and get a few more calves through the, the uh, first part of life and into weaning so we got them available to sell next fall. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.